Isn't it amazing how councils and police will turn up en masse to a gym that could be breaching COVID regulations or a charity shop or hair salon in order to threaten them and close them down before issuing £10,000 fines? But when it comes to large chain supermarkets or other big retailers, the council and police will attack the public rather than the store itself. Well, rather than police and council officials threatening the huge high street retailer Primark after shoppers flocked to their store in Newton Abbey over the weekend, the council have instead decided to pay Primark so they can hire additional security to help manage social distancing. I mean, wow, that's incredibly generous given a multi-billion pound business who pays sweatshops to make their products more money in order to save the business rates generated by the store. But will come down like a ton of hot horse shit on any small independent or family run business and ruin them with a £10,000 fine or euro fine as this one's in Ireland. It is understood that both Primark and the Abbey Centre where the Primark is located have been issued with improvement notices following Saturday's events which are normally given when it's believed that health and safety legislation is not being followed. A Prime Arnie spokesperson said we are working in partnership with Abbey Centre management to help manage queues and ensure safety guidelines are being followed. Shoppers were allowed into the store on Friday after a two week circuit break was lifted in Northern Ireland. In a statement issued on Monday, the Antrim and Newton Abbey Council said our environmental health team has been liaising closely with the Abbey Centre management to advise on the measures which need to be put in place to ensure the safety of the public. The council has provided the Abbey Care a supply of face coverings to distribute free of charge to shoppers. In light of the event at the weekend and after consultation with the Police Service of Northern Ireland, the council is issuing improvement notices. And funding. Don't forget you're giving them money too. We will continue to work with both sets of managers to ensure barriers, face coverings and any other reasonable assistance is provided to ensure compliance. The council will continue to keep the matter under review. And we see yet again the level of two-tier policing. Why have councils not offered small independent stores or businesses the finances to make themselves so-called COVID secure in, aid of, in order for them to continue making money? A multi-billion pound corporation like Prime Arnie being given money by the local authority to be able to make more profits and employ more under 15s in their sweatshops in the Philippines, but try to take money that's not available by homegrown independent family owned businesses in their own towns by slapping them with multi thousand pound fines for trying to simply feed their families and save themselves from ending up homeless. Very big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.